Hello. I'm a French entertainer. Uh, this is uh, I'm the best entertainer. You can see this is my uh, robot. I'm gonna show you why I am the best entertainer in the world. So this is how I make a living, you know, with this one. So right now I'm gonna make a demonstration of abstract painting, not some basic abstract painting. We're gonna paint abstract painting 3D, you know. So how do you make abstract painting 3D with blue and red, you know? This is the blue. And then, here, we have the red. Well, the red is a bit dry right now. I'm going to change the option. Bonjour. Voilà. Hello, now I should paint. <laughs> this is a big size. Just to let you know that this is oil painting, of course. Well, actually, I think it's going to be a blue painting, you know, because we're running out of time. Yeah. <laughs> and this painting uh, is only 10 quid from the uh, Apple Gallery, and so uh, I'm going to I'm going to finish it uh, with red, but if you see this later, so I think this is the end. Uh, Universe, are you an artist or not? First, number one, James, here comes. Hello, Tony. Hello, James, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah cool, you brought your painting. Yeah, cool. Today. Cool. Um, Let's go inside the gallery and, okay. you, uh, and we have a look, yeah? Okay, brilliant. Nice, cool. Nice to see you, James. Hey, nice to see you too, mate. Cool. Well. Yes, yes, uh, it's been. Um, it's going well, it's going well. Okay, yeah. Good. Welcome to uh, Apart Gallery, yeah. Oh, brilliant. I love the stuff you've got here. It's so, it's so at the minute, so now. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I, but I love to paint. I love to paint. That's all I want to do is paint. So, but today we're going to speak about your work. Yeah, okay. On this okay, film. Brilliant, it's brilliant, cool. It's not brilliant. about other people today. It's about you. Okay. Uh, cool, huh? So, here's your work. Well. Here is your, are you an artist or not? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I sit indoors, I get into a mood, I like to play music and I paint. I've not really sold any paintings, but the work that I've got is, is valuable to myself. Um, the, this piece over here, The Godfather, it's about two foot high by about three foot wide, as you can see. Yeah. Um, there's a lot, a lot of my time's gone into that, a lot of detail and artwork. I adore classic films and the classic style that films are done in. Um, over here, you can see the Soprano ones, which, which is actually a personal favourite of mine because I've also put in the little boat there in the Statue of Liberty, which um, it is quite good. Yeah, so what, what, uh, what paints did you use for that? Uh, well, they, these are all oil paints. The paints that I used to use before were acrylics. So I've used acrylics and watercolours, but now I've moved on to oils. I find that oil paint is a little bit harder than the average paint. It's harder? Yeah. And yeah. What, uh, do, you, do you prefer... Uh, why do you prefer oil? Why, uh, why do you prefer oil uh, if well, it's harder? Uh, well, well it's, it's more of a challenge. It's more of a challenge. It's more of a challenge. I mean, acrylics, acrylics, I got very, very good with acrylics in the past. And also, also watercolours, but acrylics is the thing that I love. Uh, oils is the thing that I love. So, wh why, the, why did you choose uh, the Godfather, uh, this Italian Mafia movie? Uh, do you, is uh, that a passion that well, you have for well, it? It's maybe a passion of mine, you know. Uh, my, my family were antique dealers when I was young, and I always got a keen eye for like, good art and stuff like that. So, I think it develops from then. But um, I can get in, go home, get into a nice mood, sit down, cup of tea, little paintbrush, and just crack on. I, I don't understand. Crack on. Crack, what I mean by crack on is uh, uh, doing my artwork. 
Yeah. So where where is it that you paint? Do you have got a you've got like some studio or something? No, 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 no. I work from home. All this stuff I've done, I've done over the last. Oh, it took me about. It took me about a year to do uh, this painting and the others that you see here today. Um, it took you about a year? Yeah, it took me about a year. But, well, we're not a year constantly, a bit here and a bit there. So, uh, how did you get... Uh, so, you, you start... But you started to paint a, lo a long time ago. Yes, I started to paint about seven years ago. And um, what, what were you painting at the beginning? What, well, how did you start? I also painted... Um, I done, um, I've lost them now. I've lost most of my artwork. But um, the ones that I had before was uh, Once Upon a Time in America, uh, The Godfather. Again, these were all in acrylics. Um, um, what else did I have? Raging Bull, another good film. Uh, all, all great, great, great films with great actors. Okay, but actors. why did you start to paint? Well, why? Is it because you couldn't be an actor? Or? No, it's just, it's just because art is something inside you. I, I believe that everybody in the whole world has got a talent locked inside them. Uh, if you can find your talent and unleash your talent, then the world is your oyster. So, do you travel? When you, what's the sensation, uh, the feeling you have when you are painting uh, the, this kind of scenes? Ah, well, the feeling that I get is, is, is sort of—I um, don't know. It's very hard to explain the feeling that you get. You just get into a certain type of mode where you want to be creative, and then you express your artwork as. In your painting, I mean, it's your work. It's got your touch on it, your feel. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, your life? So, you are, where are you born? Uh, where did you grow up? Uh, well, what do you do uh, for a living? Well, uh, I, I'm actually, a, a, I'm actually unemployed at the moment. But okay. I, I am a self-employed painter and decorator by trade. Okay. I also do a lot of building work. But, uh, but where, where are you born? Are you born in England? Yes, yes, uh, I'm proud to say I'm born in South London, Camberwell, Camberwell Green. Okay. Uh, in King's College Hospital. Um, my, uh, my family have been Londoners for over 200 years. I've traced them back uh, to uh, South London, funny enough. So you've grown up in South London? Yeah, all my family. And then you moved uh, outside London? Well, uh, just on sort of like on the borders. I mean, Brom. I mean, I'm in the borough of Bromley now, but Bromley is a borough of London, but it borders the Kent line. Okay. So. Uh, okay, so it's uh, on the border of Kent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you are, you moved in Bromley and uh, you become a, a painting decorator. So you know how to paint uh, technically. Oh, and oh yeah, yeah. I mean, um, painting and decorating, wallpaper hanging. There's all skills to that as well, but. Uh, uh, painting has always been a passion of mine. I've always loved painting on canvas. So it's just something that's in you that you got to express on the canvas, and you just so get on with it. you want to do some exhibition probably. Uh, I'd love to. I'd love to do shows and exhibitions and all that. Okay, so uh, where how can we co uh, find you? How can we find you on? Uh, Maybe you have a phone number. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sure. I'm sure anyone who wanted to contact me could contact me on my phone number, which is 07827 623237. That's 07827 623237. Or James Elliston at hotmail.com. James Elliston, 007 at hotmail.co.uk. I see you like the secret uh, thing. Yeah? You are like for this one. This one is a bit the mafia. It's like some secret affair, isn't it? And uh, then 007 is like some secret agent. So you have a passion for. Oh, well, uh, oh, well, um, I love painting and I love films. Uh, when I was young and growing up, I always wanted to be an actor, but. Um, you develop the talents. The, the, ta the talents that I've got, I've created naturally over myself. I haven't actually gone to school to practice how to do this. This is all self. -taught. Are you gonna? Do you think you're gonna? You're self-taught. Uh, do yeah. you think you're gonna go to school? Um, you well, actually, I wouldn't mind at the mind um, going to school and furthering my education in painting. If that's if that's the course that uh, the the road chooses for me. I uh, I I. I I had a. I, I went to school. It's a wonderful experience. You get to paint a lot and all that. I, if you want to do it, I, I recommend you, you do because it's an amazing experience. Yeah. Well, I mean, as as long as as long as um, 
I could keep things moving on, I'd, I'd be happy to paint all the time. Thank you, James. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Voilà. Et là, voilà. Voilà, vous êtes en frenchtelé.com. Salut. Et vous êtes une star. Oui, en France. Oui. Donc, c'est Mrs. Frenchtelé. Bonjour, nous sommes dans l'appart galerie. Donc, c'est... Donc, oui, parce que, vous savez, beaucoup de... Donc, oui, je vais vous montrer avec Frenchtelé. Donc, je vais vous montrer avec Frenchtelé. Donc, vous savez, il faut être hard, vous savez. Donc... Yeah, you want to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. But you can just... Yeah. Ah, merci. Thank you very much. Maybe we have to do you through that. No, no, no. You have to do... Uh, no, you need a bit of practice to use that. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, welcome on French today. Uh, we are in London. Yeah, Ratatouille. Yeah, with uh, Ratatouille. Ratatouille, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a weird reward for Ratatouille, it's a Ratatouille gold leaf. Have you touched it though? Voilà, it's so nice. If you want, even you can have no fun to call it an artwork of Ratatouille. Excuse me. You want to get a Ratatouille engineer? Not tonight. Not tonight, Josephine. I want to get a sculpture. I don't know. Hello. This is the top. Hello, Albon, how are you? You're on French TV. You're on French Tele. Hello, salut. Yeah, I know you met the website of French Tele. Félicitations alors. Yeah. Well, we didn't, we didn't uh, well, the website is not a business website, but it's not too This is a painting of a tattoo. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you very much for filming. Hein. Uh, il y a encore des pubs, si, c'est bon. <laughs> Elle s'appelle comment Joanna. 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 Ok. Et vous, et vous, monsieur Frank. Frank. Merci, Joanna et Frank. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. French Tell 2011. 2011 is not the beginning event concerning the AI technology. Frenchtel is a art-concepted web TV self-made and a hunter for contained and forms. The original idea emerged in London in November 2009 after a many tries on several names which sounded a bit to funky menthol TV. This project aimed to broadcast the undergrew. Nowadays, we try to make at least two shorts a day. It is so fun to feel like Warhol and the Velvet Underground. The funny thing is not to be like them or not be a copy but to use the We better find a genius idea instead of do what everyone do for few results. We are too bad and we cannot win. We losing the great way, drank and discreet. The crate theory or in French la theory du cage is minimalist TV station in wood made with the crate, tape and a mobile phone. The camera film inside the box and draw the